If you are wanting to be happier right now without your external circumstances changing, then this video is for you. In today's episode, I'm going to be taking you through what is standing in your way of being happy right now. I'm going to share some personal experience with the hope of giving you hope. And then we'll get into the nitty gritties and the practical side. I'm Candice Bester from Grit and I'm super excited and thrilled that you are watching another episode of our Grit Community Series. So what is standing in the way of your happiness? As I ask that question, I have no doubt that you can come up with at least 10 things right here on the spot. So I'm going to ask that you write down every single one of those things that are making you unhappy right now. And if you have to pause the video and go do that, please do. So just to be clear, you're going to write down every single thing that is making you unhappy right now. Okay, step two. I need you to take out your list and we're going to unpack this one step at a time. Look at each thing that you are unhappy about and ask yourself what what needs to change in my perspective in order for this to be different okay so if you have written down i'm constantly worrying about my finances then what is it that is in your control with regards to that what is it that you can shift in your perspective that even when the external circumstances are the same you are going to feel very different about it. I do believe that it's all about perspective. And some examples of the things you could say is, um, I'm going to choose to notice what I do have. Because when you're worrying about what you don't have, there's 95 things that are going right, but those five things that are going wrong consume you, and you don't see the 95 things that are going right. I'm telling you this from my own personal experience. So, Look at every single one and decide what is it that I need to change in my perspective so that I can feel different about this. And then what is in my control is the next part. So go back and say what is in my actual control. If you start to find things like, you know, if, if my husband would start picking up his washing and putting in the washing basket, then I would be happier. That's not what we're talking about yet because your husband isn't in your control. If you're wanting a colleague to do something to make you happier, if you're wanting your boss to do something to make you happier, that's not going to happen. Not through this activity at least. And if you find a way to control them, please just send me a, a message because I'm still trying to figure that stuff out. So for me personally, I had lost so much of my joy and I didn't even know it. Personal development and getting through the hard stuff and pushing through the comfort zones and learning stuff and trying to be better, it became all consuming. And that I actually forgot that in every single day there are joys, there are blessings, there is fun. And if there isn't fun coming to me, that I can actually create the fun. I do not want to be on my deathbed one day and say, and nobody I think ever has been. Where they look back and go, I wish I'd worked harder. I wish I had gotten through to more of my to-do list. No, I want to be there going, I lived a happy life. And that is going to mean shifting perspective, focusing on what is in my control, and then doing some practical things, which we're going to get to in a moment. So I hope that some of the stuff that I am speaking about is really resonating with you. But mostly I hope that you're now ready to take the next step after your journaling activity to do something different and I call this my happy list every single thing that makes me happy goes down onto this list and it is things like when I'm present in a conversation when nothing else is getting in and all I am doing is being focused on a conversation I feel really good and I feel happy. So that goes on my happy list. Going to gym even when I don't feel like it. That is on my happy list. Baking. Who would have thought? I didn't even know that would have been on my happy list. And I only found that out because when I was doing it, I checked in and I was like, oh, I quite like this feeling. And so it went onto my happy list. 
And you can include anything on that list and it doesn't have to be expensive stuff. Um, can I just ask that we keep this to a healthy list? <laughs> so if you enjoy drinking a bottle of wine every night, uh, I don't want to encourage that because I'm not sure that's entirely healthy for you. So when you are writing out this list, it really is about healthy enjoyment so that we can push ourselves forward and really, really be in that space of feeling good in a, in a healthy way and doing things that are, that are beneficial for us because that's really where the self-love comes in. So you're going to make yourself a happy list and you're going to keep that on you all the time. And when you are feeling unhappy, you go through the list and you pick something off your list. Now this is where the real grit and the real resilience comes in. And instead of waiting for somebody else to change your mood or to make you happy, you're going, I'm noticing I'm not happy and now I want to change it. And according to how long each activity takes, you can pick one. Like if, if going for a brisk walk makes you happy and you've got 20 minutes to spare, or you can just squeeze an extra 20 minutes in, go for the brisk walk. You're going to come back. You're going to be happier. You're going to get more work done. You're going to be more pleasant to be around. You're going to be able to help more people. Can you see there's going to be a ripple effect? So choosing to do more things to make you happy is going to come from your happy list and that is that's just a list that you're just going to keep adding to eventually you're going to have pages and pages and you're going to be like wow like i have so many things in my life that do make me happy and then the last thing if you are a worry wart like i am have a worry box have a worry box have a worry envelope and every time you have something that you're worrying about or consumed with just write it out and put it in the worry box. Give it your little blessing. And even if you just say, you have taken enough of my happiness and I'm going to put you aside, you will not control any more of my happiness. And then it's a choice. Every time you notice that worrying thought comes up, have a mantra. I choose to be happy. My happiness is in my control. I choose to be happy. My happiness is in my control. Whatever that mantra looks like for you, you've got to notice the thoughts and then choose something different. And I really want to say, like, there are so many joys in the day and you get to pick them. And another time, another way that you can pick your joys and be more happy is to just choose, just set the intention in the morning. Today, I'm going to have a happy day. Going into a meeting, today, I'm going to bring the joy to that meeting. I'm going to sit behind my laptop now and get two hours of work in with my favorite music in my ears because I know that makes me happy. And you integrate all these little things into your day and guess what? You get into bed and you're like, I had a really, really happy day today. So I really hope that some of that stuff resonated with you. But most of all, to know that it's absolutely normal if happiness has been something that you've lost because of your stressful lifestyle and all the balls that have been thrown at you. But can you see that you can actually change so much of this today? And to just sum it up, one of the biggest things that helps me is to write it out and to shift my perspective and then to focus on what is in my control. So please can I reach out and encourage you to not only share this video with people that you know, but also to get people to join our GRIT community. Our intention for the GRIT community is really to get a whole lot of like-minded people together that are changing their habits, that are pushing through their comfort zones with other people that have got the same mindset. And it's, it really is power by numbers. And so these numbers are gonna come from you sharing the stuff sharing the link to the WhatsApp group and getting people to join. And then I'll see you for our next series, or our next video. Until next time, I'm sending you tons and tons of light and so much love.